I'm off to find this place called Battery Lewis. And if you're... Whoa! First time I'm here, I went to go look for something else and I saw this on the map, so I'm on a mission. I love exploring Hartsborn Woods Park. This is it. Check it out. <laughs> oh, there's a battery. Oh, there it is. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's check out the sign first. Pause it and read that. Okay, yeah, I was parked over here and I had to go all the way over here, so I wasn't even walking through here. It's uh could have been short, shorter than it looks, but I don't know. All right, I am going to read this and I might recap some of the information afterwards. All right, according to the signs here, there's two batteries here. There's a Battery Lewis and um, a Battery 219. Battery Lewis was a 16 inch gun and the Battery 219 was a six inch gun. And this land was repurposed in after World, or during World War II to protect the mainland from you know, attack from battleships. And also in between 1950 and 1974, it was converted to an air defense place as the tensions rose between the Soviet Union and America, they, you know, had a air defense station here, like a radar station. So pretty cool. We're going to get to see. It's raining pretty heavily here. We're going to go get to see the battery soon, but that'll be next. This place has a real high-class bathroom. Check it out. Nice little park so far. Pretty nice. Taxpayers' dollars at work. All right, let's go check out this battery. It's hard to think that we were preparing for an invasion. You know, after Pearl Harbor, we weren't really sure what was going on. Okay, Battery Lewis. This is the big one. This should be the 16 inch one. Let's see. And it was built to survive. Um, battleship attacks and that's what it says built to survive and I'll let you look at this and we'll talk about it right after that you can pause and read it yeah, there we go 16 inch gun okay basically the sign was saying that uh, they were concerned about the increased long-range threat from a carrier and airborne aircraft and essentially this this um, battery here was built was began being built in 1942 and it was not completed until uh, March of 1945 approximately uh, five months before the war ended so never really saw any use thank thankfully and here we go Pretty darn cool, if you ask me. So glad we get to preserve stuff like this. 
Got to remember our history. All right, here we go. Battery Lewis. Let you read this. Yeah, they uh, transported the armaments between these two batteries here in that tunnel system. Okay, so we're here, and this is the shaft connecting the two. Oh wow, yeah, look at that. Okay. Oh, and the gun would rotate here, I guess. Where's the gun? Oh, there was a picture of the gun Oh, it is raining, that's for sure. All right, here's our sign. There's pictures on the internet of the gun sticking out. Maybe they're restoring it. I don't know. I'm kind of disappointed. Oops. It is pouring rain. I'm gonna go up here and see what's going on. Oh, there's the ocean. Really can't see. Let's see if there's anything here. Doing this for you guys. Appalachian ATV rider. Oops. Part of my finger. Oh, okay. There's a gun over there. You can't see it, but there's the ocean. Right there. The screen is wet, so it's jumping all over the place. Thanks for joining me. Yeah, this is awesome. I love this. Love this stuff. Alright, check this out. There we go. Well, let's start from the top and we'll go down. Well, this screen is wet, so every time I touch it, it's not cooperating. It's bouncing all over the place, changing it from video to photo to all kinds of stuff. So I'm just gonna have to deal with what I got. These difficulties, but trust me, trying to do it, it's just difficult. So again, this uh, bunker here was meant to withstand shells from a battleship and from aerial bombing to defend this country if necessary. Thank God they never came to the America. You know, when they bombed Pearl Harbor, that was a, a wake-up call for this country. Oh, wow. Look at this. All right, that's a drop-off. Cool. All right, I'm going to take a picture, then maybe go down that hill over there. All right, we'll see. I'm getting all wet here. We'll see. How slippery this is. Oh, I feel, feel my feet getting wet. Isn't this amazing? I feel so lucky. So good to be alive. You know what? I could be home, in front of the TV, doing nothing really. Not here living. Living life. Exploring. Taking it all in. And you get to sit down and watch it happen, right? I mean, if you're... Whoa! <laughs> Here we go. 
did it. All right, I'm all right. Everything good. But, you know, you get to sit down and uh, enjoy the experience. Yeah, this is uh, really steep. Yeah. I'm just saying that. Try to redeem myself, but it is very steep. Guess I should be paying attention, but I'm not sure. Hey, it is what it is. I'm gonna keep that in there. Get all laugh. Have some fun. All right. Ooh, here we go. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. Protecting America, right there. There you go. Looks like the beach in Normandy. Uh, Rommel built all those batteries all along the coastline trying to protect from invasion. Oh, you can see the rifling. Well, maybe you can't, but can you see along the edge here those little grooves? That's the rifling for the projectiles. Oh, yeah. All right, time to get a little, a little dry. Man, this thing is gigantic. I think the sign said that the projectiles can go 25 miles. Oh, here's some signs. Let's see what the signs say. I'll let you read that and I will summarize this later. I'll read them and give you a little summary. Hope you're enjoying this. I know I am. It's so great to be able to learn about history. Here's the Battery Lewis. So this is the Battery Lewis. The other one was the whatever it was, that number. The smaller one. It was really small because it wasn't there. <laughs> Can't get any smaller than not being there at all. All right, what else? Okay. I might be going backwards here, probably. Who knows? Since I'm not reading it at the moment, don't know. There's a picture, here's the words. And look at that. Ooh, okay. Nice to tilt it up. Oh, there's the range. Okay. All that time and effort and never saw any, thankfully never saw any use. Pretty darn cool. All right, yeah, let's go back to the uh, the shaft here. Let's see the other side of the shaft. Probably not much to see. Look at these anchors. It's all rusted. Here we go. Really not a whole lot to see. As you can imagine, it's pretty breezy. I bet you they stored some shells in there. Nice thick doors. All right, heading back to the car. Look at this. Rust on this. Pretty cool. So those projectiles can go about 25 miles. Battery noise. Oh, check this out. Good thing I walked around this way. It's another. It's a section in, in the middle of that tunnel where they would transport the armaments between the guns. Ventilation system.
Okay.